This jar is a mesh object I made in Wings 3D and what I want to do is put a label on the jar so it's got to conform to the shape of the jar and I'm going to do this by creating a cylinder and putting it where the jar is but the difficulty is I need to know how to proportion things so what I need to do first of all is think about how I can wrap a flat surface around this cylinder and things remain in proportion. Uh, a Bryce cylinder I've brought one in here as an example is, has got the same diameter as it's got height and they can use that to calculate the circumference and then work out what shape I need to make it so if I folded it round it would end up in this cylinder shape so in PaintShop Pro I've done this calculation I'm going to create an area that's 500 pixels high and 1571 pixels wide. This figure was uh, determined by multiplying 500 by pi which uh, I approximated to 3.142 so that's just a standard calculation for determining the circumference of a circle which is the, the top of the cylinder. So I know if my diameter is the same as my height on the cylinder then th this things will remain in proportion. So this is going to be my label I'm going to use, uh, this is as I said PaintShop Pro and it's got some um, shapes, preset set shapes here and this is a sort of a rounded rectangle and I'm going to do that in white because I know that when I use this as a mask uh, the black will be transparent so that's just making life easier for myself so that's going to be my label, it doesn't matter where I place it here because I can always rotate the cylinder or lift it up and down that you'll see how that works in Bryce in a second so this is going to be a mask so I'll save copy as and call this mask okay and then I'm going to stick something on this just at least so I can determine that I've got everything the right way up um, I'll, I'll have to create, uh, create a new layer a uh, new raster layer okay and then I can put an image on there from this I kind of wanted it horizontal at least to be able to remember right so it's going from the top left to the bottom right just just remember that so it helps to check that our label is correctly orientated I'll also alter the border on this rectangle let's make it uh, 6 and I'll get the colour from the the dummy there you go so that's going to be my label image so I'll just save copy it as and I'll just save it as image 1 right back into Bryce then. I'll get my jar object and I'll copy and paste it because it's essentially a cylinder anyway and I go to edit and I'll convert that into a cylinder but this cylinder won't, won't be in proportion so I'll go into the attributes now and you can see that the the Y value is slightly tall so I'll restore the Y value to the same as the X and the Z value so it's now uh, the diameter is the same as the height which means, uh, I'll go into the ma materials for this I'll reset it to the default grey I'm going to use the ambient channel because I've just simplified the lighting in this render to show you what I'm doing so I've selected the colours to go into ambient and diffuse and I'm going to put a blob here in transparency and that's going to be controlled by the mask that I've created so I'm going to switch it to image textures now and load in my image texture so this is, uh, this is the label and then I'm going to load in the mask for the label there you go and you can see now in the preview it's masked out everything except the label which is what I was aiming for and uh, on this preview it's applied it to a sphere so if I have a look uh, I don't need to modify any of these settings it's given me an appropriate mapping mode on on the uh, the render here you can see that the label uh, is it's turned up around the back of the jar so I'll just rotate it round until it appears on the front and then I've, if you remember I said that uh, it was to the top left so it's it's not been inverted or, or mirrored which is important and uh, if I wanted to to move it up or, or down for example I would only have to slide the cylinder up or down so if I want to make fine adjustments like that it's no problem or rotate it because the jar is essentially a cylinder and this is applied to a cylinder then the label is going to appear in the right place 
the only slight concern but it doesn't seem to have happened was if the surface of the cylinder that the labels are on was to exactly coincide with any of the surface of the mesh object you might get uh, a problem within the renderer but uh, this hasn't occurred so obviously the two surfaces aren't en entirely coincident so no problems there then a fairly straightforward uh, project put a label on a jar